Robert, perfect. Can I grab you for one moment? I'd like to introduce you to the guys from Milton. I'm just oh, giving them a little you. tour. This is Robert Forrester. Robert used to be at Joseph Keys. Joseph Keys? Wow, really? Why did you leave? Hey, no, no, Joseph's a great, great company, but uh, I really had to get out of the city. The guns, the drugs, the prostitution. It's a lot of fun, but after a while, it gets a little boring. <laughs> okay, um, sorry to have uh, interrupted you. We should uh, let you get on with your work. Gentlemen, if you'd follow me this way. So it's uh, Sally's and my anniversary tonight. Oh, congratulations, man. Yeah, thanks, man. Thanks. I am screwed, though. Oh, you didn't forget, did you? Yeah. Got to go get some flowers and chocolates and all that stuff that gets one laid, you know? But I left my wallet at home. I mean, did you borrow some cash, man? That'd be all right. I feel bad yeah, asking. I don't feel bad. What you need? And that's great. All right. You're a good man. I could fuck you right now. Good. In a friendly way, though, not in a gay way. <laughs> Man, I think I'll take a pass. Mr. Wincoop. Hey, Rabbit. Sunflowers, are those for me? Thank you. You're welcome. You hungry? Always. I thought you were going to kill me tonight. Huh? Why do you have a knife? That's just something that I give to you. Where? Out there? No, Greg, I didn't see anyone. Greg! If there's anybody out here, I'm gonna cut your fucking head off! There's nobody out there. Would you please come inside? You gotta get a dog, Jenny. Doberman, something mean and nasty. Oh, great. What, so he can attack me first? and quiet driving you crazy yet? Yeah? This is rush hour here, you know. How are you finding the place? The house, it's great. Yeah, well, you know, we thought of selling it at one point, but it's my mother's old place just before she passed away. And... Yeah, you said, you said. Yeah, we live with her, you know. The wife and I, just after we got married. Yeah, but that wasn't much fun, huh? No, 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 no. We all got on great together. That's why we bought the house across the way, so we could be closer to her. Yeah, well, uh, you need anything, just uh, let me know. Okay. 
Thank you. I'm so sorry I'm late. The traffic was just insane. Can we proceed, Counselor? Yes. We have filed documents with the state of New York for divorce. I would like to state on behalf of my client. Wait. That... I'd like to have a word with my husband before we start. No, I know. It's, it's okay. Don't... Do you think I could talk to you outside? I'm the one who wanted this divorce, but I've, I've changed my mind. Well, uh... <laughs> I'm joking. Okay. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought it would be funny, but it wasn't really funny. <laughs> Could we uh, move on, please? This is quite an expensive meeting. Good point. Yes. Yes, of course. I got your memo, and here's the deal memo that your office drafted. We just disagree on a few points. <laughs> Hey. How you doing? You got in all right? Good. Yeah, good, yeah. good, good. Look, I wanted to introduce you to a friend of mine. This is Elaine. Hi. 34. She's a doctor and she's single. Uh, this is my friend Robert. He is 37. He's a designer. He's soon to be divorced. So you'll have a lot to talk about, I'm sure. Uh, I need you for a moment. Uh, yeah, just, um, mm -hmm. sorry, excuse me. Yes. <laughs> The truth is, I saw you standing alone, and I thought, you know, uh, he's not mixing very well. Well, I'm mixing my drinks. Does that count? <laughs> Could I introduce you? Would you like that? Not really. <laughs> I know it's a little bit awkward meeting people, but um, you have to be brave. There's some lovely people here. Brave? Me? No way. I'm a total coward. I'm still afraid of the dark. Do you sleep with the lights on? <laughs> hey, Robert. Hey, how you doing? This is Walt. Have you met? No, no. Walt. Hey. This is Robert over there. Hey. <laughs> Walt, this is Robert. Robert's nice. He's kind of heavy. Oh, hey, uh, Jack. I'm not feeling too great. I think I'm, I'm going to get going. Are you leaving? Uh, I, I got a headache coming on. I, oh, is it like, is it bad? Because I could get you like an aspirin or something. It's not too bad. It, it's probably just, uh, just a tumor. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you okay to drive? Yeah, I'll be fine. I can drive you home if you want. No, that's fine. I, I'm okay. I, I, it's not too bad that I can't drive. I'm, I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, well, thanks for coming. I'm, I'm glad you could come. That's good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, of course, Thank of course. You. No problem. All right. Bye, I'll see you later. I'll see you on Monday. All right, will do. Take care.
It's okay. No, 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 please don't be afraid. I'm so, so sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. My name is Robert Forrester. Just stand right there. Please. Call the police. You should call the police. You probably should, I think. Look, it's no excuse, but <sighs> I'm leaving. What? What? What were you going to say? I was uh, going to say that. Look, can I be honest with you? I've been here a few times before, OK? I just watch you in the kitchen doing stuff. Listening to music, cooking, cleaning, uh, nothing else. I know that sounds really bad, but it's innocent. I swear to you. You look so happy. You make me feel happy, huh? Lately, I've felt very lonely and depressed. I. I promise you, I will never come here, ever again, ever. Depression can crush you. You know about that? Do, do you want to come in? What? If we're going to talk, I, I'd rather do it inside. some coffee. Do you want some? Yeah. Sit down. It's okay. Thank you. Do you live around here? Yeah. Um, over in uh, Humber. Where do you work? Levine Aeronautics. Where do you work? Oh, in a bank near Crystal Falls. Do you think things happen for a reason? What, you mean like fate? Yeah. Us meeting like this. I don't really, but I, I, I don't know. When I was about 15, this man came to stay at our house. And I got it into my head that this man, my father's friend, represented death. Right after he left, my little brother got really sick. And he died a week later. I'm sorry. Do you really think that your brother died because this man came to your house? I said yes. You'd think I was crazy, right? Well, look, I'm in no position to call anyone crazy. 
We were meant to have this conversation, you and I. I think you should go now. Do you want a cookie? feel better soon. My name's Jenny, by the way. Jenny Tierolf. This is really good of you. Yeah, well, let's just get this over with as quickly as possible. Oh, come on, Robert. Don't tell me you've got somewhere better to be on a Friday night than a storage unit. <laughs> hey, I keep meaning to ask you, why'd you leave all your crap... Sorry, your stuff. Your stuff. Why'd you leave all your stuff behind anyway? Don't you need it out there in Hicksville? Oh, I know. You're planning on coming back. You're planning on coming back to me, aren't you? <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. And who could blame you anyway, right? So have you met anyone else since we broke up? I bet you have. So you do fall in love at the drop of a hat. I really don't think your passport's in here. I was very thorough when I packed. <laughs> 27 pens, 14 pencils, two erasers. <laughs> I forgot you were this anal. This is a bit, um, special needs, don't you think? Are you feeling any better these days? Because, you know, you heard about that guy from downtown who killed his family, right? You're blaming the medication he was taking. It was the same stuff you were on. <laughs> oh, my God. That could have been me. What, it could have been. Found it. Told you. <laughs> what? You hear any more noises recently? No. 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 I hate you living out here. You're too cut off. I love living out here. This is my dream home. Dream home. If you pull on it, it's just gonna get worse. Please, would you let me fix this for you? No, I like it like that. It reminds me of Jimmy Stewart's loose banister. What? It's a wonderful life. It sure is. It's a nice shirt. I've not seen that one on you before. This? Sure we have. Greg, I have to get to the oven. Well, I am not going to let you go, Jenny. What, ever? That's right. We are never going to move from this spot. What do we do for food? 
and we can eat each other. <laughs> Greg, the chicken pie is gonna get it's gonna get burnt. Boy, she's hot. Well, you seem to think so. You don't think so, eh? What are you blind? She was all over you last week. Set you up with her if you want. Oh, I don't know, Jack. What with the divorce and everything? I'm just not interested at the moment, I guess. Robert! Oh, hi. Uh, Jack, this is, uh... This is, uh... Jenny. Jenny. Jenny T. Rolf. Nice to meet you. Well, um, it's getting late. I'm gonna be late for something. Can't think of what, but shouldn't be late for it. I hope you don't mind me coming by like this. No, no, not at all. You look a little surprised. Well, I'm a little surprised, yeah. You came to see if I really work here or not, right? No. No, I believed you. I knew you were telling the truth. I, I was just hoping we could talk some more, that's all. Why did you pick me? My house, I'm, I'm curious. I'd really like to know. Well, I was, uh, I was just uh, driving around in my car, and uh, I saw you on your porch. You were beating a rug, I think. And then uh, you, you went inside, and I just felt that I had to come back and see you again. You know, I've been thinking a lot about the other night. I think you wanted me to catch you. What? I think you did. Why would I want you to do that? I don't know. Cry for help, maybe? So does your boyfriend know you're out with me tonight? We've, um, we've broken up, actually. Well, it's sort of a trial separation for a month or so. Oh, right. He asked me to marry him. And it's weird, but I instantly knew that I didn't want to. And then I thought, if I don't want to marry him, why am I still with him? Well, you'll probably feel better after some time apart. You'll get back together again, I'm sure. No. I've decided it's over. Huh. Appointment Tuesday instead of Monday? Do I have a choice? <laughs> what do you think? Tuesday it is. Good night. I've just had the worst day ever. <laughs> Look, Nikki, I don't mean to be funny or anything, but it's actually three in the morning. Hello? I really wish I'd never met you. for a walk in the woods. Who's we? Me and some friends of mine. And you. 
I don't know about that. Why? You have someplace better to be? No, oh, it looks like it's gonna rain. No, I heard it's gonna clear up. Are you gonna tread on my happiness, Robert? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. If you don't mind, we're gonna keep going. We don't wanna keep stopping. Oh, sure, you guys go ahead. I don't think your friend likes me. Who, Susie? No. He just broke up with Greg, and then you bring along this total stranger to meet them? Can you not see how that looks? I don't care how it looks. We're friends now, right? Hey, Jenny. Bill, I'm just gonna take a breather. Jenny's pretty fit. Yeah, well, she's a lot younger than you, isn't she? I love Jenny. She's a great girl. Yeah, she is. I just wish she wasn't such a dumb romantic. What's so bad about that? Well, uh... Well, <laughs> romantics believe in love at first sight, don't they? And all that bullshit? I think people who lose their hearts too easily are never very happy in life. Do you know Greg, her ex? I don't know. He's such a nice guy. I saw him the other day and he's a mess. Has no idea why Jenny dumped him. And she hasn't told us very much about you. I don't even know how you two met. You guys, the sun's going down, it's beautiful. Well, we should get going, I guess. Since I've broken up with Greg, things seem different somehow. They're more colorful, more real. You know what I mean? Do you? No? What am I saying? No, I know what you mean. It sounds nice. I'm the opposite. I just, I, I walk around in a day sometimes, you know. I think I'm still asleep. It's like I'm in a bubble or something. It'd be nice to get back to the real world. Well, bubbles can burst. Look, I haven't been totally honest with you. I'm kind of married. Kind of? Yeah, I'm, I'm getting a divorce. Oh, so it's okay then. I really don't think it's a good idea. I think it is. Hey, how you guys doing What's tonight, huh? With you? Hey, Robert Forrester. Oh, Jesus is that right? Is that right? Stop yeah, we've not met. I'm Greg. Greg Winku. Stop it, Greg. Shake my hand, asshole. Shake my fucking hand. Are you out of your mind? <laughs> Who the fuck is this guy? Huh? Yeah, I think I'm, I'm gonna leave, okay? No, Robert, you don't have to go. No, no Robert, you don't have to go. Hey, huh? stop it. I mean it. I will never speak to you again. I'm gonna go, okay? I want to go, Jenny. That was nice meeting you, Robert. What is going on?
sorry, man. So you're getting that promotion. That's good news. Are you gonna take it? I mean, you gotta take it. I don't know, man. Philadelphia? Philly's a fun town. You been there? No. I know it feels like you just got here and then you're taking off again, but it's good news. I'm jealous. Yeah. I don't like moving around too much, you know. Makes me feel like a hobo. Makes you feel like a homo? Yeah, like a homo. <laughs> Damn it. Did you see that? It's a hell of a strike, Chris. Stupid way of throwing the ball, too. Right? How did you know I was here? Oh. I, well, I called your office, and I just missed you. Someone, somebody told me that you'd be here. I, I hope you don't mind. No. It's just, Greg's been saying some things about you to some of our friends. Like what? Like, um, like you won't leave me alone. Like you're dangerous and that you've been stalking me and that we met because you were hanging outside of my house. You told him? No, I didn't tell him anything, I swear. That's a pretty big fucking coincidence, don't you think? I, I always had this feeling that somebody was hanging outside of my house and, and so did he. That's all that he's going on. I, I didn't tell him. I, I wouldn't tell anyone. Great. That's just fucking great. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna see if he's free yet, okay? I'm gonna put you on hold, alright? Just hang on a second. Hello? Oh, shit. Sorry. Hello? Yeah, it's her again. Oh, shit. Just tell her I'm in a meeting, would you, Jack? Again? Hello, Mr. Off. Yeah, he's in another meeting, I'm afraid. Yeah, it's it's really busy here today. Back to back. I'll tell him he called. All right. Bye bye. I'm sorry, man. Get locked out, huh? Come on. Hey there, Sam. Real friendly guy, huh? Of course, his wife died last year, so he turned real sorry. You, know? you don't have to be rude about it, though, right? I mean, it's not my fault she died. So, under the tree. There's the key. Huh? <laughs> Make these little rhymes up to remember things. Like my wife's birthday, could never remember it, but I got this one. I see a bird and I remember it's gotta be the 3rd of September. I, I made that up. So. Remember also rhymes with November and December. Yeah, it does. But her birthday is September, so that doesn't work, so. Okay, so you're in. All right, thanks, Mr. Colby. I don't think we should really see each other anymore. I'm not somebody that you want to be around. 
had a very bad breakdown last year, and I, I guess... I understand. I thought that I was, uh, gonna kill my wife. But you didn't. You're not listening to me, all right? I'm terrified. I'm terrified that one day I'm gonna wake up and I'm gonna look in the mirror and I'm not gonna know who I am anymore. Nothing you say will frighten me, Robert. I can help you. This was meant to be, it was. The way that we met, I, I know it was. Oh, come on. This was meant to be. I mean, it's bullshit. Do you really believe that crap? Look, I'm leaving anyway. I just got a promotion. So, I'm moving to Philadelphia. I love you, Robert. What? I, I know that you feel something for me. The way that you look at me, I, I can see it in your eyes. I came by your house because I enjoyed watching you happy with someone else. Someone else, okay? Not me.
sorry. I know that. I... Oh my God! What happened to your face? Oh, nothing. Greg just tried to kill me. That's all. What? What happened? What happened? I was driving along in my car. He comes by me in his truck. Nearly runs me off the road. And I get out. I try to talk to him. He tries to take my fucking head off. We end up fighting in the middle of the road like something out of a fucking cowboy movie. I throw one lucky punch, I knock him out, he ends up face down in the river. Don't ask me why I went in to get him, because I was fucking furious. I wanted to drown the bastard. Oh my god, Robert, I'm, I'm so sorry. I feel like it's my fault, but I, I should have known this was gonna happen. God, I hate him. I don't hate him. He just thinks that I, he's protecting you. Yeah, well, I hope I never see him again. I've been thinking about Philadelphia. I'm gonna come with you. You do know, you do know that's not gonna happen, don't you? I'm going on my own. Could I sleep here tonight? Uh, Please, I, just for tonight. It's just that Greg has been coming by my place and I've just, I've been feeling so miserable at home. Okay, you can. I, I mean, I'll sleep on the couch. You can take my bed, I'll sleep on the couch. No, I want to sleep on the couch. Okay, if you want. I'll go get you some blankets. I won't bother you anymore after this, Robert. I mean it. Jenny, please don't cry. I'm sorry. Are you hungry? I'm making blueberry pancakes. If I were on death row... Death row? Yeah, if I were on death row, I'd want my last meal to be blueberry pancakes. What would yours be? Uh, I don't know. I haven't really thought about it that much, strangely enough. Oh, come on. It's easy. You just say what your favorite food is. I probably have Chinese. Yeah, Chinese. But I don't think there'd be much uh, point in reading the fortune cookie on death row, huh? <laughs> you know, I was thinking the other day that there's gonna come a point where we experience everything for the last time. I mean, I wonder what my last meal is gonna be. The last book I'll ever read, the last song I'll ever hear. You never think about these things? I mean, I'm just saying it would be quite nice to choose. Because people on death row get to choose their last meal, you think that's nice. If you could choose, what would your last song be? Mine would be A Kiss to Build a Dream On by Louis Armstrong. You? 
I don't know. Oh, come on. You're not playing. Uh, real life, Jonas Policewoman. I gotta go. I'm very late. I'm sorry. Okay. that we're done I can't believe I'm single again can you do you want to go on a date with me <laughs> okay hey Jenny yeah I just got out I'm a free man I can't believe why what's the problem what? When you left him on the bank, you say he was quite out of it. How far away from the river was he? I think around, I'd say four feet. It was very dark, so I can't say precisely. Do you think he could have fallen back in? In the river? No, I don't think so, no. He started groaning, you know, he was coming back around. And that's the reason why I ran. I was just frightened that he was going to come after me again. But I don't think there was no way he could have fallen back in the river. No. You say he just broke up with Greg? Well, clearly he was upset about that, right? Oh, it's just that if he didn't fall back in, then the only other thing I can think of is, well, Crystal River is pretty notorious for suicides. <laughs> Suicide? Greg? No. No, there's no way. I'm, we used to have arguments about that all the time. I'm sorry. He used to say that people who kill themselves are weak, but I think it takes guts. No, there's no way that Greg would do that. Have you called around everyone that he knows? Has, yeah. has anyone heard from him? Yeah, we talked to his friends and his family, his work colleagues. No one heard or seen him. And uh, just so you know, we started to drag the river as of today. Hey, Jenny. Um, I haven't forgotten your birthday. I'm sorry that I haven't been able to buy anything for you yet. I... Okay. It's okay, don't worry. It's fine, I know you've uh, got a lot on your plate. So, have you picked a date for your party yet? It's tonight, actually. You should come along. Oh, tonight? Uh, we can't. Um, we're, we're going away to a cottage in North Bay. I'm sorry you can't come. Are you okay? I got nothing against you, it's me. Don't pretend you're not there. Pick up. Pick up. You're not fooling me. I can see you sitting there, screening your calls. It's so rude. Okay. You're not there. Hi, good morning, Mr. Jaffe. Uh, Robert, um, listen, there are two uh, detectives who are here to see you. Um, they're in the boardroom. All right. Thanks, Mr. Jaffe. Hello, Mr. Forrester. I'm uh, Detective Anderson. This is Detective Lippenholz.
You haven't found a body yet, have you? Well, no. I'm sure if there was a body, it would have turned up by now. Well, we've been informed that uh, Crystal River is a very deep river with lots of uh, pockets in the rocks. So the body could be trapped underneath there for a very long time. This is what we think. Greg came after you. You got in there with a lucky punch, like you said. Fell in the water and you ran off. No. I grabbed him out of the water and I helped him. If it was self-defense, it's involuntary manslaughter. You got a pretty good chance you're just gonna walk right out of court, especially if you admit it right now. But when we find a body and you haven't told us everything, you have to see the bigger picture, Robin. What do you want, Susie? I'm really busy. I'm worried about you. Well, you don't have to worry. I am worried, though. Really worried. Robert scares me. Do you really know this guy? I know you don't like him, but I do. So I'd be really careful about what you say next. Jenny, he's a creep. I'm sorry, but he is. Don't be so dramatic. Jenny. say something? I think I just heard an owl. It kind of scared me. Well, why did it scare you? Owls are a symbol of death, aren't they? You know that you sleep with your eyes half open? Did you know that? Yeah, I've, I've been told. There's nothing much that I can do about it, though. It's attractive, huh? Well, before Mr. Wincoop disappeared, told a few friends that you were stalking Ms. Tiroff, and that's how you met, is that true? No, oh, that's not true. We are speaking with your ex-wife, Nikki. She told us that you had treatment for some kind of mental disorder. A mental disorder? I was depressed. I saw a therapist, I took some pills, I got better. I wasn't locked up anywhere. I don't know what else my wife told you, but we just got divorced. So we're not on the best of terms. She said you tried to kill her once. Woke up one night, you're standing at the end of the bed, knife in hand. She's been telling that lie for the past year now. We were having an argument because she was drunk again. I was preparing dinner, I was chopping food. I walked into the bedroom, I'm still holding the chopping knife in my hand. She's drunk, she screams. That's me trying to kill my wife. Okay? I didn't try to kill her, Jenny. I just told you that to scare you off. I know. There's something that I haven't told you. Greg called your wife the day he attacked you. Hello? I've just been informed that you spoke to Greg Wincoop. What the fuck did you 
lose sight of him. Hello, Nikki. How are you? What are you talking about? You told him the same lies you told the police, didn't you? No wonder the guy tried to fucking take my head off. Do you know how much fucking trouble you've got me into? You got yourself into this trouble, Robert, not me. You want to come in? Yeah, yeah, sure. <clears throat> Look, uh, you said you were planning on moving out, right? Yeah, that's right. In a few months, I hope. Any chance you could make it any sooner than that? Why, do you have someone else moving in? No. I just want you out. Nikki Grace? Yeah? I'm Jenny. Jenny Tierolf. Hello. <laughs> Hello. You want something to drink? I'll have a water. I ran out of bottled water. Tap is fine. Of course. So you've come a long way. Just to see me? No. Yes. Why do you hate Robert so much? I don't hate him. You know Robert, he wants to be everyone's friend, but to be honest with you, I don't really think he likes anybody. I don't think that's true. The man's cursed, if you ask me. I've come to realize that some people are poison for you in this life. It's not always clear who they are, but when you find out who it is, you have to cut them out. Okay. Thanks. No, thank you. Good. You okay? Yeah, I'm fucking great. Promotion? It's coming. No, no way. And I just got suspended from Levine. What? Fuck, man. I'm so sorry. I pulled that guy out of the water. I fucking saved his life. I wish I had drowned the bastard. I need a beer. You wanna go get a beer? I can't really today. Um, I can't. I wish I could, but I gotta look after the kid. He's got a touch of croup. Croup? Yeah. Sorry, man. I'm just gonna go to the bathroom. Okay, sure. I got a reservation, Wincoop. Jed Wincoop. Gotta have it there. Are you Greg Wincoop's father? I am. I, I was so sorry to hear about Greg. Is there any more news? No, there isn't. What's the matter? Nothing. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Let's go. Forster! Robert Forster. That's you, right? Yeah. I just want to talk. I just need some answers. Look, we're supposed to... 
What did you do to my kid? I didn't do anything. What did you do to my kid? You hear me? You fucking. Get me the fuck out! Oh. Ah. Ah. Robert! Ah. 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 Shit. Robert, no! Robert, stop it! Stop it! Ah. Stop it. Ah. Are you okay? Fuck off! Robert? We have some news. Uh, bodies being found in the river. Is it Greg? It could be Mr. Wincoop. It could be. Haven't you identified the body yet? The body was found naked. No ID, no jewelry, nothing. Face was badly smashed in. And just so that you understand, the body that's been in the water for as long as that, it's very bloated. Hair, layers of skin have all fallen away, along with distinguishing marks. Even if someone could identify the body, we couldn't just go along with that. Tests would still have to be carried out regardless. So you need to do some tests. How long is that going to take? Yeah, we just need to get a hold of his dental records. That's the quickest way to identify a body. It's not him. It can't be. We'll let you know. Jenny, I didn't kill him. I know. I believe you. The body was found a few yards away from the house under a tree. Before she killed herself, she called her friend Susie Asham. Jenny told her how you two first met. Bit creepy, don't you think? Spying on a girl alone at night? If you lied about that, what else you been lying about? This is for you, Miss Tyrell. Dear Robert, 
I've always had this feeling about you ever since we first met. I know you represented something for me like my father's friend did for my brother. I just couldn't work out what it was. The signs have been all over the place. It was impossible to ignore them. And now I know what I'm supposed to do. I hope you find your way back to the real world. If that's where you want to be. should keep you going for now. Thanks. I'm, uh, I'm really worried about Jenny. She's gonna dump him really soon. She'll see what he's about. Robert's in a lot of trouble now. Good. So what do we do next? Yeah, hello. Detective Lippenholz, please. Yeah. Uh, hi there. This is uh, Robert Forrester. Yeah, somebody just shot at me. There was this car waiting, uh, a gun went off, and the car sped away really fast. You don't believe me, do you? No, the car did not backfire. Look, I need protection. Okay, that's great. Thank you very much, okay? Great. Jesus fucking Christ. You're in a lot of trouble, huh? How did your dog lose its leg? Previous owner took a bat to him and shot him. It's a wonder he still loves people. shot at. Aren't the police doing anything? I don't believe me. Look, you can spend a night here if it make you feel safer. You'll notice my wife's taste ran to the extreme floral. That's nice. Uh, it's a comfortable room. I'm sorry to hear about your girlfriend. Well, she wasn't really my girlfriend. Thank you. 
You know, when my wife died, I had this romantic notion that I'd go soon after. You know, the way they say some old couples do. <laughs> Here I am, a year later. Tell you one thing, though. I'm not afraid of dying anymore. You know, when you're young, it's not the time to die, is it? No. And she killed herself. I feel so responsible. I feel like I botched something. Person. I think you need some rest. Try to get some sleep. Yeah, you're up finally. There was some sleep you had there. What time is it? Two in the afternoon. Oh my God. I haven't slept in that late since college. You hungry? Yeah. yeah. So now. Thank you. Could I go and get a cloth or something? What's wrong? Bullet missed the bone. You're going to be lucky. I'm just going to take a look at your arm. Does that hurt? No. Can you raise your arm, please? You can put it down. The car backfired. You got 24 hour protection. You know who did this? Talking to some people, friends of Greg's, mm -hmm. members of his family. Oh, I've got an idea who it is. It's Greg Winkoop. Look, Mr. Forrester, I understand you're hanging on to this notion that Greg Winkoop is still alive, but come on, wake up. Why haven't you identified the body yet? I've had a little trouble tracking down Greg's dental records. DNA tests are going to have to be conducted now. But like I said, Mr. Forrester, You've been assigned protection.
Drop the gun. Drop the gun now. No, 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 he's getting away. Shut up, turn around, put your hands behind your back. It's Greg Wincoop, he's getting away. Put the gun down. Put it down. Turn around. Oh, Sit. shit. Danny, what are you doing? What? That's our guy. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Shit. Come in. Haven't you heard of knocking? You know you sleep with your eyes half open? What is it? What do you want? I think you just got lucky. I don't fucking believe it. Neither do we. Where did you find him? We caught him trying to get on a bus to the city. He made a call from the diner before we picked him up. Mr. Wincoop, you say that Mr. Forrester tried to kill you? Yeah. That's right. He tried to, uh, bash my head in with a rock and then he tried to drown me. He's fucking crazy. He's he's a psychopath, you know. <laughs> this is fucking bullshit, man. I'm not the one who should be sitting here. It should be Robert, not me. Look, we know you shot that guy. It's just a matter of time until we can prove it. Hey, Bob. Hey, Bob, I just I heard the news. They caught Greg Wincoop. Yeah. Really happy for you. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Jaffe says, I uh, can't wait till you come back. That's great, huh? Well, actually, Jack, I'm leaving tonight. I'm driving back to the city. Like, for good? Yeah. Oh. That's too bad. Well, you uh, you'll stay in touch, won't you? Sure. Do you know what I had to go through to get you out of there? There's got to be five people present. You got to have the prosecuting attorney, the district attorney. You got me out, didn't you? I, I don't need to hear about it. I'm sorry, Dad. I don't think sorry is going to cut it. What the fuck are you doing here? You come to jerk off? Did you follow me here? Robert, we just want to talk to you. <clears throat> great. This is fucking great. What?
Don't look at me like that. Robert, this is crazy. This is bad. Look, he's drunk and he's really angry. So we have to be careful here, okay? Robert, you have to help me. You have to convince the police that I had nothing to do with this. But you did have something to do with it. No. No, I... <sighs> Probably not gonna believe this, but I still love you. I do. You know, the first time I saw you, Nikki, I fell for you straight away. You were standing so still in that gallery. You looked like a statue, looking at that awful painting. And then you moved. I guess it was fucking downhill from then on. I can't help you. I won't help you. What? What you saying? Who's that? It's me. What is it? What happened? I got a shot. He just died. Oh, fuck. This is all your fault. Everybody, just calm down. Calm down. Watch it, you idiots. I think she...
And it's true what they say about love. Yes, it's true what they say about life, and I'm taking it for all. Six hundred thousand miles and all this solitude. 